Hey everybody, welcome to Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're going to answer a question that I get all the time, and that is, how do or can I use my iPad with an Apple Pencil or iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil as a graphics tablet on my Mac? And the answer is yes. Let's take a look. Okay, so the answer is yes, you can do this, but you're going to need to have some things in place first. First of all, it is a Mac OS feature. So if you're a Windows user, you're going to have to sit this particular one out because this is something built into Mac OS. Um, there may be solutions for Windows users to do this too, but this, this is a particular feature called Sidecar, which is built into the Mac operating system. So what do I mean by that? Well, on your Mac, you, of course, can upgrade and upgrade and upgrade the operating system to the latest as of the recording of this video, which is Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or 10.15. Now, I'm on 10.15.4 because that's the latest update to Catalina as of the recording of this video. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need an iPad, uh, preferably with Apple Pencil support because that's what makes the whole feature cool. Um, it could be an iPad, it could be an iPad Pro, either one, either of the newer iPads, even the lower cost ones, or the iPad Pro support Apple Pencil. So that way you can use the pencil to work in your desktop applications uh, on the iPad. And that's the whole point. The next thing you're going to need, so Mac OS Catalina, iPad running iOS 13. I'm on iOS 13. I don't know, 3 or 4, whatever the latest version is as of the recording of this video. And you're going to make sure that networking and Bluetooth are turned on on both devices, which they probably already are. You probably already have your Wi-Fi turned on on both. You probably already have Bluetooth turned on on both. And that begs the question, do I need to be on my network for this to work? And the answer is no. You don't have to be on your Wi-Fi. You could be out in the middle of the woods with no Wi-Fi, no connectivity whatsoever. The reason you're turning them on and both making sure they're on on both devices is so that they see each other. So it has nothing to do with connecting to the network. It's not something that requires the internet, but it does require that those two technologies be turned on. Okay, so Catalina, iOS 13, um, networking turned on. Last requirement, you need to be signed in to the same iCloud account on both devices. That's also how they see each other. So I need to be signed in on my Mac and iCloud, which I probably did from the day I set it up, and on the iPad, signed in iCloud the day I, since the day I set it up. So on the Mac, I'm, I'm running, um, I just happen to have Photoshop open on my Mac because that's a typical application that people want to use pressure sensitivity and use a pencil. It could also be Illustrator. It could be any other application you want to be able to use the pencil on. I've got my iPad Pro sitting over here to the side. And even though I do have a cable plugged into it, that cable has nothing to do with Sidecar. That cable is simply connecting to the video system so you guys see it, so you see it in my recording. That's it. I can unplug this cable and this would still work. Now, can you use a cable? Yeah, you can plug in a USB-C um, cable to regular USB, whatever C or whatever you have on your Mac, and that would work too, but it doesn't require a cable is what I'm trying to say. So my Mac is not connected to this iPad. My recording Mac is, but not the Mac we're, we're seeing over here on the left-hand side running Photoshop. Okay, so now what do we do to make this work or not work? Uh, well, you should now have a display icon. This little display icon is an AirPlay icon um, that has a little monitor in the upper, upper right-hand corner. And it's got a little arrow under it. This is the one I'm talking about right here. That icon will just show you on your network any devices that can be connected to AirPlay. So this is technically Sidecar is like an AirPlay feature. So I see my iPad Pro. That's the one that we just I just connected to a few minutes ago. And I see other devices. I see Apple TVs. And I see my other iPad here. But what I'm really looking forward to is connecting to this iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. So as soon as I choose it, now my monitor might go wonky for a second because I am, I am, it's almost like I physically plugged in a different display. So I plugged it in and you might say, well, whoa, what happened to Photoshop? Well, actually, Photoshop bounced over to the other display. 
it bounced over here because this uh, technically is now another display connected to my Mac. So it, it just put the window over there because I had used it over there before. Now, can I drag it over back over to the other Mac window? Sure. I can start dragging it. If we switch over, you see it. I, I've now moved it over to the Mac uh, with the 16-inch display. And so now if I go back to the iPad, you see the iPad showing now instead of um, my iOS apps, it's showing my desktop picture. It's showing my, my Egypt desktop picture that's on my Mac right now on a different display. And well, I know it's kind of confusing, so why don't we just do this? Why don't we show you so you can see them both at the same time? So now we've got the Mac on the left-hand side, We've got the iPad in the upper right hand corner and I've got like a little hands cam so you can see both displays here and you can actually see me working um, side by side. All right, so now we're just gonna basically take the take Photoshop back over to the other side like we, we've done before. I'm actually gonna click the little green um, maximize button to maximize it so it fills up the screen. I see all my panels and that's it. At this point, I have now connected via sidecar sidecar is the feature it's a it's a catalina feature i've now connected my ipad pro wirelessly to my mac and as a result i can now pinch and zoom i can move this photo around because this is now a uh a touch display i can also use my apple pencil with any of my tools because uh, this is photoshop this is regular desktop version of Photoshop because I am running it on my desktop. The iPad is just simply acting as a graphics display, a pen display at this point. Now, I love my pen displays from Wacom and my, my tablets from Wacom, but what I really love about this particular feature is it's on the iPad I already own and I can take it with me. It would be hard for me to bundle up and carry my 16-inch my Cintiq with me, but this is this can I can just throw in my bag and it's ready to go at any time. So I'm gonna uh, I can tap on the tools here. I can switch between the tools that I want to work on. I want to work on the spot healing brush, and I can. Um, there are little on-screen buttons on the left-hand side here. These on-screen buttons, and here I'll actually show them to you with a Mac mouse. These on-screen oh, I can't because they're all they're on screen. Uh, these these buttons are actually buttons that are sidecar buttons. So if you didn't have a keyboard, I have a keyboard right now. But if I didn't have a keyboard and I need to press a command key, I could press command key. I can even bring up the on-screen keyboard. So you've got all of these extra controls around the display to work with in case you need to do things um, in the application you're working on and you don't have a keyboard attached. So I have a keyboard attached, I don't need those on-screen things. But I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click on my spot healing brush. And I'm just gonna come over here and start using my Apple Pencil to brush away part of this friendship bracelet. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and just kind of start removing a lot of this and just brushing. This is a standard Photoshop function. And I'm not thinking that I'm, I'm on uh, an iPad, I'm actually just using this as a touch display. Now I'm at a weird angle because I would normally have this in my lap uh, so that I could work more efficiently. But uh, just that easily, and I could even switch over maybe to the patch tool. There we go. And just start drawing and, and, and moving things around that way and kind of cleaning this up a little bit more. And now I can use my iPad with Apple Pencil or iPad Pro with Apple Pencil as a great retouching, or if you're an artist, a great drawing tool um, by connecting this directly to your Mac. Now, if you're finished, because again, keep in mind, I'm in Photoshop, so I'd save it. I maybe do a save as, save it wherever I want, and do whatever I want to do with it. But if I'm finished with it at this point, I could now um, simply, uh, you know, close it, open up a different uh, different file, so I can open up this butterfly, for example. There's the butterfly now open. I open that for my library. It opens just as quick. Why is it so fast? Because it's Photoshop running on my Mac. So it's, it's the same speed as it would be on any other display. Um, uh, so I, don't confuse it with running iOS apps or the iOS version of Photoshop on the iPad. You're actually running whatever was on your computer using your iPad as a display. Um, now, when you're done, how do I get out of this? Like, how do I tell it I'm done using Sidecar? 
Well, when you're done, you're just going to go up to this menu and at the very top there, you see disconnect. So you can do that from either side. So if I go back to the Mac, um, I've got that same menu. If I go back to the Mac desktop, oh, I'm trying to deal with my Apple Pencil. That doesn't work on this display. Here we go. If I click, I can disconnect from here as well. So once I disconnect, the screen will go bonky for a second. And now I've disconnected and um, there's Photoshop back on this display. And of course we can make it full screen again. And we can make that graphic full screen again, like that. And if I go look at my iPad, my iPad is back to its normal display. So this is the beauty of using Sidecar with your Mac, is that you have the added functionality of now turning your iPad, any iPad that has Apple Pencil support, into a graphic display for your Mac, a pen display that you can retouch, draw, use the pencil, pressure sensitivity, all the benefits that you bought your iPad with Apple Pencil for in the first place. All right, folks, hopefully that answers the question, how would I use my Mac and my iPad together so that I can use the Apple Pencil to work with my Mac applications? And it's a feature in Catalina called Sidecar. And thanks, Apple, for adding this. This is pretty cool. All right, cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye, everybody.